So in this video I'm going to be showing you guys a tool that I've recently found which will help find better keywords for your low content books faster and really it's one to stick around for. So if you haven't been here before, my name is Rory and I run this channel called Mr. Rosa. And can I just ask you guys to that like and subscribe button as it is greatly, greatly appreciated and doesn't take you half a second to do. Now this software that I found is off a other software called BookBolt, which I have talked about in a different video and I'll leave the link up there. And really it's a really great software and one I would recommend to all you guys. And it's really just such a time saver for me. And if you're someone like me and time is very valuable to you, then this is the tool for you as it will really save you time with going through Amazon, finding all the keywords on your own, and yeah, just really saves a lot of time because it's all got it there for you. It'll give you the Amazon search volume, the Google search volume, the competition, all that sort of stuff. And if you are interested in purchasing BookBolt, it has a monthly and yearly subscription, then click the link in the description below. And if you use the discount code Mr. Rosa, which I'll pop up on screen now, then you'll get 20% off your purchase, which is a great deal. And yeah, I'd really recommend this software to all you guys. Now, just an example for today, I'm gonna to be using very simple keywords on books that I believe are selling very well at the moment, and that's coloring books, dot to dot books, and I think the last one was learning books. And yeah, they're books that are doing very, very well at the moment. And with this software, it will give me a list of all the different keywords that are associated, which you can use in your title, your subtitle, and your seven keyword boxes. So yeah. Let's just dive straight into the computer and get on with this video. Oh yeah, and by the way, just to let you guys know, I actually did recently purchase a new camera, which will be changing from this one because currently I'm using the Canon EOS 600D, and this is the Canon M50 paired with the Sigma 16mm lens. And overall, it's a great value for money. It was, I think, £900 altogether for both the lens and the camera. So for value for money, I think this is going to be a really, really good purchase. So expect much higher quality videos coming soon. But anyway, let's just jump straight into the computer. Okay, so when you first go into BookBolt, this is what will come up. I've talked about it again in that other video, which I'll leave a link to. And it just comes up with first bit of the tutorials. And one of the tutorials you will get is how to use this keyword researcher. So if we have a look on the left, the one we're going to be wanting to use is keywords down at the bottom here. I'm going to click on that and click search. And now let's just start off with learning books. So if we just type in learning books, and see what comes up. It may take a few seconds, but that's fine. And again, like I said, you can do this all manually on Amazon. I think there's an other software called Cerebro, which is more expensive than BookBolt, and with BookBolt you get all of these other things. Okay, so this is what comes up. Now, to start off with, we've got keyword phrase on the left, and it'll go in alphabetical order, and you can also change it. I think if we click on that, it'll give you the search volume, so if we click on that, it'll give the lowest search volume. And if we click on it again, it'll give the highest search volume. So yeah, if we just start from the highest and have a scroll down with learning books. Now, it will give us the competition on the side. Some they have no data because there's not enough books using those keywords. But yeah, as you can see, the top one is learning to read books for kindergarten. Amazon search volume, 35,675. Google search volume, 170. And the competition is high. Now. If you want to check that, you can copy that. So learning to read books for kindergarten, we can copy that. And if we go into Amazon, I'd just like to start off by saying before I had always said to go into books, uh, the department books on this drop down menu here. So going down there. But recently speaking to my dad, I don't know if you guys might know him. He goes by the channel name Paul Miles. He does also very good videos on this sort of thing. And he was saying, that you should always go in all departments because, well, it's very true that everyone that goes into Amazon, they won't be clicking on that drop down, clicking to books, they will be searching in all. So that gives you more accurate readings on what people will be finding when they search something up. So after we've copied that, let's just paste it, learning to read books for kindergarten, have a look at how many results there are. There's 4,000 results, but yeah, that's just something to show you. So you can copy these keywords, put it into Amazon to get different readings and find out more information. And again, we can just scroll down all of these and we're looking for ones with medium 
competition. So that one there, learning books, it's got medium competition, but I think learning books, mm, to me, I think learning books, it'll be tough. Maybe for your title and subtitle, you can put learning books in, but yeah, for me, I think it'd be a bit too high. Now, something like this, French learning books, that's also a good thing to know. So we could copy that, paste that into Amazon and see what comes up. So there's 7,000 results. Okay, that's a bit high, but that's also another niche you can get into. So not only will this give you keywords for your seven keyword boxes and for your title and subtitle, it can also give you different niches you could go into. And yet we can keep scrolling down these. So we've got Japanese learning books, English learning books, Japanese learning books for beginners. And obviously you've got to remember, we only used learning books as the keywords. So it's gonna give us a range of loads of different things like Japanese learning books, German learning books, Spanish learning books, all sorts of things like that. But you can niche down on these. If I show you here, Japanese learning book, and we have a look what comes up. And as you can see here, it's got Japanese book, Japanese books, Japanese books in Japanese language, Japanese grammar learning books for beginners. That's a good one. So if we copied that Japanese grammar learning books for beginners and pasted that, and we had a look what comes up, 345 results. So that is actually a keyword I would save. So what I would do, just click that heart there and it will save to your favorites. So yeah, something I'd really, really recommend to you guys is a Japanese learning book because as you can see, not very much competition, but it will still be getting a lot of searches per month. And that is what that is there. So that is getting 51 searches per month and it only has 345 results. So you can imagine if your book was at the top of that category, then you will be getting good amount of sales because those 51 people that see it every month will be seeing your book first. And again, we can scroll down Japanese language learning book by Tuttle. Can't use that because that's a brand. Japanese language learning for kids. Japanese language learning software. No, can't use that. Japanese language learning tools. Japanese learning, 367 Amazon search volume. But again, we can change that. So we wanna go from highest. Learn Japanese workbook. Okay, 11,989 searches. Let's copy that paste that into there and see what comes up. There you go. There's a keyword for you guys right there. It's only got 543 results. Jeez, I need to save this. 543 results. Yeah, it's getting 11,989 searches a month. That's crazy. Again, Japanese learning books, kids, paste that in, 338 results. Again, something you need to be getting into. So I'll go and save that as well. So let's just move away from the learning books for now and let's go over to coloring books. Now, again, we might niche down a bit. So let's go for something a bit more niche down. Let's go cat coloring book and see what comes up. And here we go. Now I'm gonna change it again from the Amazon search volume, change that to highest and then 182,409 Amazon search volume, geez. Uh, I don't think we can use that one anyway. Adult coloring books, cats and dogs, 162,141. But I'm sure if we go into Amazon and we search that up, we'd get, well, actually, that's meeting the criteria. Only a thousand results for something that gets 162,141 searches a month. That is absolutely ridiculous. Adult coloring books in Paris, that's an interesting one. How many searches do we get for that? 38 searches, but I think that's actually a famous book anyway. So we can keep scrolling. Adult coloring books, cats, women. That's something you could be using in your title or subtitle. 773 results. And how many searches that get in per month? 162,141. Again, save these. You want to be saving every single one of these. Adult coloring books, swear words, cats. That could be more of an adult based book. Have a look. 135 results. And what is the best sellers rank for that? 501. So again, that is showing you that this searcher is very, very accurate because even though there's only 135 results, all those 162,141 people that are searching with those keywords are getting this book as their first option, which has then resulted in it having a best sellers rank of 501. So yeah, this is something you guys should really get into and we can just keep scrolling and scrolling down, coloring pencils, no, we can't use that. 
Some of these you won't be able to use, of course, because colouring pencils, that's got nothing to do with the book. But yeah, you can just keep scrolling. Cat colouring books for kids. Cat colouring books for kids ages four to eight. Let's have a look at what that has. 649 results. Again, you're gonna to want to save that and use that in your title, subtitle, put it in your seven keyword boxes. And overall, I believe that you guys will really get sales. So yeah, once again, that is a very, very simple video. And I just want to use this as a teaching video and just show off this software a bit more in depth because when I did the tutorial on how to use it before, I did a very vague video but this one is going a bit more in depth into the different sorts of things that you can do this. And if there's any other things on BookBolt that you want me to teach, leave it in the comments below. I love reading every single one of your comments. Like I always say, it's a really great privilege for me to have this YouTube channel with over 1,500 subscribers and just teach you guys and teach you guys how to make money and have a better life for yourself. So yeah, once again, if you're interested in purchasing BookBolt with that 20% off using the discount code Mr. Rosa, top link in the description. Yeah, I'd definitely recommend it to all you guys. Or you can do all this research on your own manually. It's really up to you, but yeah, time is valuable to me. And that is why BookBolt is very valuable to me as well. So I hope you guys found it useful. And if you did, once again, can I ask you guys to drop a like and hit that subscribe button as it doesn't take you half a second to do. And I'm looking at my hair. I've been wearing a hat all day because I just came back from tennis. <laughs> Look at it. It's getting long already. I'm gonna have to get another haircut. And also, yeah, can't wait to be using this camera. It's really, I'm amazed how light it is really. Like the camera I'm using now is quite big and heavy and it's strange to go to an upgrade and get a smaller, lighter camera. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to taking some nice photos with this and nice videos with this. And if you wanna go and pop over to my Instagram, I will be posting frequently on there soon. With That was the plan with this new camera. I was hoping to get some nice photos and stuff. Click the link in the description below. I have a link for my Instagram down below or just go at Rory Miles on Instagram. And yeah, well, that's all I've got to say for today and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.